All right there folks, welcome to another Fishing Adventures and today we're talking jigger floats, okay? Now, another early, well, late spring, definitely into summer method, okay? And the reason I'm talking about this now is because it's a perfect time to kind of explain to you what goes on under the water, okay? Because now, if you've not seen a jigger rig before, you've basically got your banded hook length, a bulk of shot, your float, and up there you've got a stopper bead, okay? And basically, you put your rig in, the float moves up and down on the line, um, up to the stop. When it hits the stop, you lift the rig back up until you hit the shot, and then you sink it back down again. It's basically, if you've done any sea fishing, you're basically jigging a rig up and down. So you need a jigger float. Now, the float I use for this um, is the jigger float by jazz floats okay um i've used these for ages and i've done a couple of videos on them and one of them in particular was how to set up the jigger float and i'll leave a link for that at the end of this video so keep watching to the end and then go and check that out um, i'll also drop jazz's uh, website link below as well because these are just phenomenal they're, they're an absolutely amazing thing and it's such a simple technique to use as well but the question i've got is how slowly do you need to drop that rig back in? Because the last thing you want to do is have that bulk of shot overtaking your pellet, okay? Now, nine times out of 10, I'll fish a six mil pellet on this. Occasionally, I'll use an eight mil, and that is what I'm testing today. Because on the jigger, I've found through my own personal experience, about 90% of the bites will come as you're lifting this rig back up. But, Though there's been an odd occasion where I've, I've felt like I've had a bite when the rig has been dropped, but it's not connected properly. And I'm wondering if the bulk has overtaken the pellet and you have not had a tight line, because the idea with this is you keep it as tight as possible and the, basically the fish will come along, smash into your bait and it'll self hook against the tip of the pole, basically. It, it's, it's a foolproof way of fishing but those miss bites knock me right off and I'm wondering if that is the case. So, bait wise, what have we got? I've got some six mil pellets from the pellet guys. I've got some dynamite baits, swim stim ones. I've got a generic pack of fishery six mil pellets. And just as a contrast, I've got some eight mil pellets as well. Um, and I, I just wanna see basically, first of all, that I'm interested in the fall rate of those pellets because d different companies seem to have a different density of the pellet. Now, as we've seen in the crazy video before, with the equations there, the water doesn't really change. Whether it's a foot deep or 40 foot deep, the resistance on that pellet is gonna be exactly the same. So the only difference is the gauge of your wire on your hook and the bait basically the density of that bait does it make a difference to the fall rate now i really need to find out i really need to know um so that's exactly what we're going to go and do now right then guys so first pellet i'm using for this is just a box standard fishery six mil pellet okay and that is on a matrix mxc3 on a size 16 okay so we're just going to drop that in and i just want to check the fall rate for now um i've got the shot about six inches above the hook length it's about two inches above the loop to loop so we're just going to test that first so the shot is settled god blimey that sinks like a brick that was quite a bit faster than I thought it were going to be, to be honest. So let's just try that again. We'll just drop it in. This is on the jig rig, so there is a bulk of shot, okay? So that bulk has settled, and that pellet is cruising. That's just hit bottom now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I just want to see if we can jig it up and down, uh, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to lay the rig in. So that is in now. The float is at the top of the water. Okay, I'm going to jig that pellet down and then back up. I don't know if you can see that on there, but it's pretty impossible for that to overtake the pellet as it is. But you will notice 
that there is a massive, massive curve in that line between the pellet and the bulk of shot. And that is what is causing the missed bites, I think. So just reducing it a little bit, you don't have to reduce it much, but just reducing the low back rate, or the dropping back in rate, could make a huge difference. I mean, we're not talking by much, we've just been talking about being a little bit more sensible with it. Um, but that was with the fishery pellet anyway. So we'll take that off. Right then, so next up is the dynamite baits. Six, uh, six mil amino original and like I did before I'm just going to drop it in again just see what the forward is that shot has settled that seems a little bit slower bit of a slower fall on that one that's just touched bottom now so do that again no shot have settled yeah that's down on the bottom now um, so that is sinking quite fast that one as well again isn't it the fall rate of that so we'll just just try it now jigging so that rig is in okay and that the shot right under the float there so we'll drop it in and again the, the same sort of thing is happening that shot is, is sinking it's causing a massive arc in the line in relation to where the hook bait is but just by slowing it down not by much just a fraction and you can get the hook and the shot sinking at the same time you're getting a lot better presentation and that is maintaining that uh, tight line as well so that makes a massive difference well, this is the pellet guys six mil pellet um, same shotting pattern as before i'm going to drop it in see the sink rate and there we go and again it's um very very similar to be honest as, as the others so maybe it doesn't make a massive difference what brand you use they're all gonna react pretty much the same way in the water that bulk settled straight away and there we go so we'll just do that on the jigger again I'm thinking it's gonna be exactly the same result so that rig is in um, all the shot under the floats so we'll jig it down yeah it is it's just just a matter of slowing it down so your hook falls at the same rate as your shot basically um and not allowing it to bunch up and, and cause that loop so um very samey to be honest with you with regards to fall rate and stuff like that so what i want to do is i just want to try one of the eight mil pellets um just to see what the uh, the fall rate is going to be like on these. Right then, so this one is an 8mm pellet. Uh, same as before, I'm just going to drop it in. Is that f <laughs> Right, let me just do that again because, right, that shot has settled. That seems to f just go down a little bit slower, doesn't it, compared to the 6mm. See if I can run them side by side just as a compare, but I thought that would have maybe sunk a little bit faster, but it was a bit slower. So let's try it on the jig. So that's in there. All the shot are under the float. I'm going to let that drop down. Okay. So yeah, it's um, basically the same. It's uh, not really changing much on there, to be fair. There's still a bow in the line, so we'll just slow it down and you just get a bit of bit better fall right then so um not a massive amount of difference there between different brands of pellet i i, I was kind of thinking at the start that, that some may be slightly denser than the others um but it it, it didn't really affect the 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 fall rate uh even on the eight mil i thought that had maybe be slightly different and, and I guess it was but not in the way I expected which was really really bizarre so um, a little bit of food for thought on there especially when you're fishing the jigger um, because as we've seen there that the shot will sink fast regardless of what size shot it is they all seem to sink at roughly the same speed in effect um, when they're under the water purely because of the, the, the shape of them, aren't they? I mean, the round, they're gonna sink 
fast. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, there's not much resistance there. But with with the pellet and and the bulk, I always thought that the the pellet had hang in the water a little bit more and it clearly doesn't it does sink fast but the shots sink a little bit faster and it concertinas a little bit on that hook length so maybe if you're fishing the jigger it, it's better rather than whapping it up and down i mean certainly jig it up quite quickly but lower it in a little bit slower um, and, and just give that hook bait chance to be hanging perfectly below the shot as it's as it's going down and that could potentially in increase your catch rate if, if you've just been whopping it up and down um, because that's the mistake i've obviously made and, it, and the bites haven't been clean because there's they've got time to suck it in maybe spit it out or not snatch it cleanly do you know what i mean so again a little bit of food for thought um but yeah i'm i'm a bit let down by that one i'm not gonna lie i was expecting a bit of a better difference between the different pellets so it just goes to show that maybe all pellets are created equal and maybe the only difference is the the scent that they put on them do you know what i mean um but yeah i'm going to leave you with that one uh, to ponder yourselves because I, i'm genuinely confused i was expecting a difference between the pellets and i was expecting a, a bigger difference between the size of the pellets as well between the six and the eight but every day is a school day isn't it uh, so until next time catch you later